So how do you write a really great groom speech? Well, I shall tell you, hopefully, as briefly as possible. Uh, a great groom speech should be no longer than a stand up to sit down time of 10 minutes, which means a talking time of around about seven and a half, eight minutes, which is about 1400 words. So who do you need to include? Well, first off, there's a handover to the father of the bride or whoever's making the speech that goes before yours, depending on family circumstance. Have some fun with it. What you're looking to do in a wedding speech is have as much fun as possible. And that means having a little bit of a play around with the people that you're including, talking about or handing over to or from. So think of their hobbies. Uh, are, are they a DIY board, a train board? Have they got an amazing lawn? Are they bald? Are they ginger? Are they boring? Are they really, really into getting drunk? Think of one of those, think of a joke around that uh, and have some fun with it. So you've got the father of the bride or whoever's making the speech before yours. Then you can have some fun with the people that have traveled great distances. Uh, they may have come from Hawaii, America, Germany, all the way to Didcot. Uh, is it worth it? Well, uh, hopefully your romantic dance will make it all worth it. Then you've got the people that have helped out. Stick to the people that have done it for love and not done it for money. Wedding planners, photographers, they can all be happy with the cash at the end of the day. So then you go into those who can't be with us. That's an emotional toast. So you've got to keep uh, it light, keep it positive there. And then it's into the parents. Make sure you deal with the parents in equal measure. Your parents and your future uh, in-laws Give them exactly the same amount of time each. Don't wax lyrical about your new in-laws, no matter how much you love them and they uh, love you. Uh, so then you're talking about the best man, obviously a big target for, for fun. And uh, you've got to think of a reason why people wouldn't trust uh, his judgment. Is he a Manchester United supporter? Uh, does he vote for UKIP? You've got to think uh, why people cannot believe what he's saying. Then you can talk about the ushers if you're having them. No detail in the ushers. You simply haven't got time, no matter how much they mean to you in your life. Then it's on to the bridesmaids. You can do a little bit more uh, detail and fun with the bridesmaids because obviously, they're obviously important to your future wife. Uh, maybe thank and acknowledge them for the, the hen do and say something funny about the hen do. And then you toast the bridesmaids. That's your job, not the best man. And then you're on to the most important part of the speech, which is talking about your future wife and what she means to you. Have some fun with this. It can't all be a tsunami of slush and sentiment. You've got to say some profound things. Think of the reasons why you love her. Think of what was going through your mind when you decided that she was the one for you and have a bit of fun with what she likes about you and what she probably doesn't like about you. And then end with a general toast. I don't like toasting to uh, the bride specifically. I think it's all a bit weird. And I don't do handovers to the best man because I think that's all a bit naff and cliched. If you stick to that formula, keep it within 10 minutes, you'll be on to a winner.